Good day everyone, greetings and salutations, and welcome to another coding lesson. Today we are going to take a look at cleaning up a few things in our application. So let's take a look at this app, and we'll see at the bottom here we have this white area. And if we go to our stock view, then we have this same white area down here. And the thing is that this content area where we kind of display either the stock information or the stock list in this case, they are both using the same CSS, uh, but we are duplicating that CSS across two different components. And we want to fix that. So what we're going to do, if we go to our code, we can see in our dashboard module, we have the background color, padding, and min height. And in our stock view module, we have the exact same setup. So let's go ahead and create a generic layout component for that. So source components and we'll create a layout and layout ASX. We'll create a component and we'll also create the style module. And make sure we import that here. Now let's go ahead and go to our dashboard module. We'll copy these over, or we're actually just going to cut them out. And we'll go to Layout Module, and we'll paste them in here. And then in the dashboard.tsx, we'll copy these over to our Layout Module. So the React Module, sorry, sorry for the confusion there. It's always a mess when you're working with CSS modules and uh, React components. So let's just stick to components and modules and everything will be fine in the world. So let's see. We want to accept children in the layout component and we want to pass that in here. So that means that whatever this component encapsulates is going to go where we place the children and then these two divs will surround that. So let's call it layout content and layout content container. And then in our module, we'll make sure that matches up. So layout content and layout content container. All right. So now we can go to our dashboard. We can remove these two and we'll go ahead and we'll put in the layout. And as you can see, we also need to import it, but it looks like my editor took care of that for me. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. And styles is not defined, so it looks like we just forgot to save. Uh, or actually, we forgot to import it as a variable. So. Make sure we do that. And now we have the same results. So we're going to go ahead and do the same in here. So let's go back to our editor. We'll head over to stock view. And we'll put in the layout here. And we'll remove these two divs. And it looks like we need to import layout from components, layout, and layout. All right. And now it lo doesn't look like we're using styles. So we can remove the stock view module. And we'll just delete the entire thing. So let's go back to our browser and have a look. And it looks like we have the same result. But we still have this white line down here. So let's go ahead and fix that. 
And the way we're going to do that is we are going to go to our subheader module and we'll give that a oh, looks like I already had that there, but let's just go ahead and give it a height of 280 pixels. So that'll give it a fixed height. And if we go to our header, we're going to give that a height of 55 pixels as well. So now what we can do in our layout is we want to say that the min height of the layout is no longer going to be 55 VH, which is stands for viewport height. And that's what's causing this uh, white line at the bottom. So this will always be 55 viewport height. Uh, and that is the problem. So we want to kind of calculate that based on the heights of the header and the subheader. So we have the min height of the layout content and we want to do calc and want to say it's going to be take up 100 viewport height. So basically the entire height of the viewport is going to be this component's minimum height. But then we want to subtract the height of the subheader and the header. And that is totally 280 pixels plus 55. So that's 200 and 335 pixels. So using calc, we can use different units here. So that makes us able to say that we want this component to be a minimum of 100 viewport height. But then we want to subtract the height of the header and the subheader, and then it will calculate the correct height. So if we go back to our browser now, we can see that we have a header and a subheader here, and we have the content area here, and it looks like it still has some wiggle room here. And I think that's because we need to make sure we say box sizing order box here. Let's see. Yeah, and we have, we should have put that a few other places as well. But let's go ahead and say that we're happy with that. Let's go ahead and see box sizing border box. All right, so that'll take care of it. And we can go ahead and go to our code and say box sizing, order box. We'll go to our header, and say box sizing, order box. All right. And one last thing I want to do is I want to go to the header as well. And I want to make this a link. So we'll go to the header. And we'll go ahead and we'll say that the logo container is going to be a link. And it's going to be a link to the dashboard. So the root of the site. And let's go ahead and give a class name to that. And we'll call it styles logo link. And I think we can remove the logo container. And we'll give this the logo container class. And in the header module CSS, We'll go ahead and we'll say color inherit and text underline none. Text decoration none. All right. And if we go back to our app, now we can use this to navigate kind of back and forth between our, our views. All right, perfect. So that's it for this video. And in the next one, I think we'll take a look at building out 
this research section. So perfect. I'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in. And that's all I have.